And in business news, the Central Bank of Nigeria has warned Nigerians to be careful of unauthentic swift messages and documents containing false claims of non-applications of substantial foreign currency funds allegedly transferred into a beneficiary's account. The bank's acting director of the Corporate Communications Department, Mrs. Akama Sidi Ali, said the CBA neither provides correspondent banking services for Nigerian banks in foreign payments, nor maintains accounts for private business entities. She further cautioned that the petitioners claim that the alleged expected inflows for onward credit into accounts of private business Entities are trapped in the CBN is not only spurious, but deceitful. The Apex Bank reiterates its commitment to its core mandate of ensuring an efficient financial system. While in a bid to meet its financial needs of higher and medium income earners, as well as address the challenges of higher construction, the Federal Market Bank of Nigeria has increased its loan limit from 15 million naira to 50 million naira. The managing director of the bank, Mr. Shewu Sidi, made this disclosure uh, in his presentation during an oversight visit by the House of Representatives Committee on Housing and Habitat at the bank's headquarters in Abuja. More in this report. According to the managing director and chief executive officer of Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, Shewo Sidi, the main focus of institution is the collection, management and administration of National Housing Fund Scheme. The main goal of the NHF scheme is the allocation of funds for the provision of affordable housing for Nigerians. This is an oversight visit of the House of Representatives Committee on Housing and Habitat, led by its chairman, Abdul Mumin Jibrin, to the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Managing director of the FMBN, while identifying challenges ranging from shortage of funds and high volume of non-performing loans, called for a review of the National Housing Fund Act. We are happy with uh, the visit. Um, such oversight visits help to put us in our toes. And we're able to explain what we are doing as an institution, um, the prospects that we have as an institution, the challenges that we have. And we believe that the National Assembly is a very strong institution that can help to run the cost of this bank. For the House Committee, there is need for an urgent intervention and support for the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to deliver on its mandate of providing affordable housing to Nigerians. The Federal Mortgage Bank of uh, Nigeria uh, is uh, in a dear need of uh, uh, a life support. I can say they need a life uh, support. Uh, uh, they are so uh, poorly uh, funded. And everybody knows that uh, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria is uh, the most uh, uh, authentic organization uh, that can access uh, the low income and the medium income of uh, takers. The FNBN hinted that in support of the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Chinubu for the housing sector, the bank had provided 100 billion naira bankable off-takers guarantee to real estate developers executing the construction of affordable houses. The Federal Executive Council has approved the medium-term expenditure framework for 2025 to 2027 with a proposed budget of 47.9 trillion naira for the year 2025. Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Atiku Bagudu, disclosed this while briefing State House correspondent at the end of the FEC meeting presided over by President Bola Tinumbu last week. With me earlier today, I spoke to the Head of Research and Policy Adversary at Budget, Mr. Inyo Bongu, saying he gave his views on possible ways of generating more revenue to help finance the proposed spending plan. But with regards to non-oil revenue, of course, this has been the bright spot over the last couple of years. And with the tax bills sitting before the National Assembly, this is one area where we think that if those bills are passed, that we expect significant you know, increases, especially as uh, you know, it regards to the value-added taxes, uh, also to customs revenue, as the case may be. As you know, if you have interacted with those bills, uh, there's a recommendation to establish a national revenue service that would move away the revenue collection function of the, uh, the Nigeria Custom Service and the Nigerian Port Authority to the National Revenue Service. And this, we, we believe, should plug a lot of leakages that currently exist within the current regime and, you know, and have more revenues flow into the pool of government. 
Well, the stock market continues with price improvements in various trading groups following sustained gains on securities. If you're on Gekop, reports on markets. The stock market has shown resilience 